Hi folks, welcome to Paul Sherry RVs in Pickwell, Ohio. My name is Sam Arts and I'm going to give you a video walk around of the 2015 Georgetown 351 DS Bunkhouse Class A Motorhome. As you can see on the front here, it has a one-piece windshield that gives you a panoramic view that you and the whole family can see as you're driving around the countryside. We got the partial paint on the outside. It features the V10 Ford. The Triton V10 has been around since 1997. It's a tried and true motor. You also have side view cameras plus a rear vision camera. As you can see on the outside, you got some nice LED lights underneath the awning it is power awning you got the flat glass frameless windows less leaks looks a lot cleaner no mold to get on the rubber seals or any of that kind of stuff you also have outside speakers with a marine radio control where you can control what you're listening to separate for what's going on inside the camper you also have an lcd tv for watching outside you have the slam latch baggage doors they are thick, they got one latch, they're one handed use. You close them, they close up tight for a watertight seal. Plus they make it insulated better than the ones in the past. Inside all your storage are made out of rotocast ABS plastic, they'll never rot out. All of them have drains in them. So if you get them dirty, all you gotta do is rinse them out, all the water run out on its own. You have four house batteries, it's gonna run your generator, your lights, your power inverter, your refrigerator, and all the stuff inside. Plus you'll have a separate engine battery that will take care of that. So a whole lot more batteries than what they used to in the past. You have a power entry step. You also have a power awning. It's also adjustable on the sides for uh, sunshade and for dumping water. It has an automatic dump feature. If it fills up with water, it automatically dump on its own, tilt to one side. If it's a light rain, tilt it to the left or right so you don't have a mud puddle under you. As you come down through here, you have some more storage areas. Here's your water heater, it's gas and electric. The storage doors on this side, these are access to some of your plumbing, to your black and gray tanks. This one here is not real big, but when you get to the other side, it is full pass through and it's about five times as big a door on the other side. As you come around to the back, you have a one-piece fiberglass cap with your flat glass windows, your ladder for getting on the roof, your rear vision camera recessed back down in there. So again, you have a rear vision camera plus you have two side view cameras. You also have a 5,000 pound hitch and you also have some backup lights. Also on all Forest River Georgetowns, you have a one-piece fiberglass roof. The roof is just as tough as this. You can get up there, go to NASCAR races, go to the infield. It doesn't give you the black streaks like you get from a rubber roof. Way tougher than a rubber roof or a TPO roof. Um, you about have to be in a collision to damage this roof. As we walk around to the other side, once again you can see how enormous all kinds of space in here. This is steel reinforced with the rotocast plastic again. You got cable hookup. If you're at a park that's got cable, you can hook it up there. Also, you can add aftermarket satellite dishes, in motion dishes. Makes it real nice. You have direct TV or dish network. You can have the same programming you have at home if you add a satellite dish to the roof. Once again, thick slam latch doors. As you come over here, here's your gasoline fill. You're going to have 75 gallon capacity. You're on the 19 and a half inch wheels and tires. Down in this area here is going to be your dump station. You got your whole house water filter. You hook up your city water here. If you want to fill your tank, you do it here. And if you want to clean out your black tank, you have a sanitized flush here. Your dump valves are up in a heated area, plus they have heat pads on the holding tanks. So if you want to go skiing or hunting in the winter time, you can go in the colder weather with this motorhome. Plus you have an outside shower. All in one convenient area. Once again, nice slam latch doors. As you get to this compartment, there's your exhaust for your generator. It's a 5,500 watt Onan generator. 
Onan is now owned by Cummins. So what that gives you is you can also go to Cummins dealers if you need any kind of service work. Those are in all major cities. A lot of them's open 24 hours a day. Very quiet, 5,500 watt, can run both air conditioners, microwave, everything at the same time. You have more storage here. There's your propane system there. We fill your propane as a part of our prep. There's no extra charge here at Paul Sherry RVs for the prep, the cleanup, and the training class. That's all included in our prices. So you can see one big slide here. You even have slide out awning covers on top of your slide to keep debris, leaves, pine cones, and, and excess water away from your slide room. Up front again, you got your one piece windshield that's sealed in, automotive quality, no air leaks. You also have halogen lights plus regular lights and some fog lights. All aerodynamic in the front, nice and clean. This hood will open up, come out of your way so you can check your fluids. Now let's go inside and check out the 351. Now we're inside of the 351 Georgetown. Right up front here we have the, the Euro Ottoman chair as an option. You can move this around wherever you want in the coach. You can unscrew it from the bottom. Standard is a barrel chair with the seat belt that you can get. Um, also your captain's chairs, this one's going to turn around about 90 degrees and you can get this one to spin completely around. This one also has the theater system with your DVD and your subwoofer and stuff down in here. And as I'm going to show you the cockpit a little bit here, you have some controls for your generator start, your power heated mirrors, you can turn the radio on without having the, the, the key in the ignition, you got some cooling fans up front, it's got a switch, again your power controlled heated mirrors, here's where your rear vision camera comes out, and your side vision camera, simply if you want to get into your right lane, you flip on your right turn signal and automatically the right side camera is going to turn on. You can also do it manually going down the road, but it's mostly in automatic mode. You flip on your left, the left camera is going to kick on. Also, your DVD and CD player is all built in controlled right here. You got some map lights inside here, an hour meter on your generator, and here's simply the controls for your dash heating air. If it's really hot in July and August, you're going to run your generator and you're going to run your whole roof air and cool the whole coach. But when it's not too hot, you can pretty much maintain it with your dash air. Um, you have cruise control over there on the steering wheel, um, uh, automatic uh, leveling jacks, so you get to the campground, if it's raining, you don't want to get out, you can just push the button and level it out without going outside at all. Um, you got some flash, you got a power shade, you push a button, it goes up and down right here. You got an emergency start, if for some reason your engine battery would go dead, you could push the emergency start while you're cranking the engine and it will take power from those four, other four batteries that I showed you. So you're never going to be broke down. Your generator will always run until you get to a quarter of a tank. A quarter of a tank is where it stops pulling so you don't ever run out of fuel. And also you probably didn't notice because there's storage up here. There's also a hidden bunk right here. So I'm going to fold this down. It's got a mattress built in. One person can do it. It's very easy to do. No air mattress to build, blow up. As you can see there's a mattress here for a kid or one adult. So it's all private through here, holds up to 200 pounds. It's a one-handed operation. Just push it up, grab it with one hand, push it up here, push the lock in by the other. Your shades across the front are power, push button. On the side, you simply pull on them and they'll go back up out of the way. So you can really darken it up when you're traveling down the road. New this year for 2015, they put some marine, marine grade vinyl here instead of carpet. Makes it easy to clean up when you're climbing in and out of it. Also, you can see the bow floor with the wood grain on it. That's not going to crack or shrink and it's not going to um, show dirt. And if it's wet, it's not slippery. Okay, over here on the sofa, folks, you're going to have seat belts inside here. You're also going to have, you pull these cushions off, a regular sleeper sofa like you'd have at home. You sleeps two people. You also have day and night shades. The night shades are pulled down right now. You lift this up, it lets a little bit more light through so you can see out during the daytime. New this year is little LED push lights everywhere. Um, they don't draw much energy. Lots of storage cabinets above here, above your dinette. 
Also, you have cup holders in your dinette. Uh, this will go down and make a bed. There is storage underneath the bed. You simply take off the cushions and this slides up and down on a track and makes it real easy to make, make a bed out of it. Scoot your cushions together. You have a bed and you have seat belts over here on, on this side. As you come back here, you're going to see your entertainment center and flat screen LED TV. You're going to have storage above and below. Nice wood cabinets everywhere. Very good looking interior. Um, like I said, you have theater sound. As you come over here, this is an all electric 22 and a half cubic foot Frigidaire all electric refrigerator. It says just like at home, there's no propane to deal with this. You have a power inverter and batteries that will run this. Plus, when you're plugged in, you naturally get electric. So it's 22 and a half cubic foot. It's very efficient. It's a French door refrigerator with freezer below, just like you'd have at home, drawers. So 22 and a half cubic feet versus the eight cubic foot that was previous. This has the upgrade with the stainless steel appliances. Standard would just be black appliances, so that's an upgrade. Your countertop is solid surface stone, very heavy duty by LG. That's standard in all models. Very nice stainless steel backsplash. Plus you can take your stove top covers and you can simply store them back here when you travel. When you come over here, wherever you find a drawer, they're all metal ball bearing drawer glides with real plywood walls and they're very smooth action plus they lock into place not going to pop open when you travel. Come over here you have a residential sink with a pool sprayer just like you'd have at home. Your sink covers are solid surface stone and they are stainless steel. So nice deep bowls for washing dishes. Window so you can see outside see what the family's doing when you're stuck in here. Down below here, it's all your controls for your awning, your battery disconnect, and your power inverter that runs your refrigerator. You have a nice stainless steel grab handle for on your way out the door, and lots of storage everywhere. You also have shelves inside here instead of one big area. You can divide up your stuff and get yourself organized. Right above here is what they call uh, a fantastic fan. Um, it moves up the air up to 10 mile an hour, pulls up to 920 cubic feet of air per minute. There's also a cover on there and a thermostat, so to kick on and off as needed. It's nice if you're cooking, you burn something, you can suck the fumes out. Plus, if it's not quite high, hot enough to have air conditioning, you can simply kick that on, crack a couple windows, and pull some fresh air through the unit. As you come back this way, as you're going to see, as I told you earlier, this is the bunkhouse unit. What we mean by bunkhouse is there's two bunk beds in here. So not only can you sleep six up there, you can sleep two more here. They have curtains to cover up this area if they want to go to bed early. If they want to watch a movie, they can do that. They have separate TVs and DVD players in each bunk. It even comes with the remote. So if the little ones want to go to bed earlier, watch their own thing. There won't be no fighting. Nice little ladder for them to climb up to few drawers down here to put some of their belongings in. So this is a slide from here all the way to the end. So all this back here, your TV is a larger TV this year. You have storage cabinets, all kinds of drawers for the family, grandkids, all kinds of storage, hanging closet, very roomy back here. You got a queen bed with a residential comforter. It also is a pillow top, very nice mattress, window in the back, window over here above the bed. Plus you have 110 outlets for both sides for alarms or CPAC machines or any of that kind of stuff. Plus you have more storage all the way around here. New this year's LED lights. It is centrally ducted air, so you do have two air conditioners. You can cool the whole unit. You have separate thermostats from the front to the back. If you want it colder, they want it warmer, you can separate. As you come over here to the bathroom, there's a little storage cabinets outside here. You have a porcelain toilet with a foot flush, so no more bending over, just simply flush. Porcelain also makes it stronger, and all the chemicals that you put in there is not going to stain it like plastic does. Towel rack, storage everywhere inside here, another exhaust fan, all kinds of counter space here, places for towels. Nice big mirror, 
You have a one-piece fiberglass shower surround to get in there. There's also a skylight here. So if you're extra tall, you have all this extra room. Regular shower, nice glass door, has a magnet in the middle. Plus you can lock it for travel. Here's your Forest River Command Center. It's all in one area. Right here you test how full your propane is, your fresh, your black, your gray water, all that. Your water heater switches here, two separate electric slide room switches, and you also have the Arctic package that I mentioned earlier. 12 volt electric pads. They're like heating blankets on your holding tank so you can camp in the winter. And then simply your water pump switch and then your digital thermostat for your front air conditioner is right here. Then as you can see from there, here's the whole rest of the unit from the other way. Well folks, that concludes my video of the Georgetown 351. We appreciate you watching and shopping with us at Paul Sherry RVs. It's a very nice motorhome. And the Georgetowns, it is the number one selling floor plan. Come see us.